they may not look appealing, giant slug-like creatures that don't sometimes even look alive at first glance, but sea cucumbers are a heavily sought after Asian culinary delicacy, which offers a potentially lucrative alternative to Sri Lankan fishes seeking to move away from traditional fishing methods. Sea cucumbers are soft-bodied, slow-moving creatures very much like starfish or sea urchins. There are some 1,250 known species, mostly ocean dwellers, inhabiting both shallow waters or deep ocean beds. In the early 1980s, these marine invertebrates, commonly known as sea slugs or sea leeches, were abundant in Sri Lanka's shallow coastal region and could be picked by hand during low tide. During the last decade, researchers have noted that about 4,000 to 5,000 families in the northwestern and eastern parts of Sri Lanka have become dependent on sea cucumber fishing activities, and since 2016, over 600 traditional fishers have reportedly also switched to sea cucumber farming. Once collected from the sea, the sea cucumbers are graded and cleaned and later boiled and stored in salt for preservation. Once they are dry, they are ready for export. Since sea cucumbers are not a part of local cuisine, Sri Lanka exports them to Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong and China, where folklore suggests that sea cucumbers have aphrodisiac qualities. But sea cucumbers are considered one of the most overexploited marine resources in most countries. Sri Lankan waters too were once home to 24 species of sea cucumber, of which 20 had some sort of commercial value. But because the industry was unregulated, with no precautionary approach to management and sustainability, sea cucumber populations have depleted in Sri Lanka too. And between 2015 and 2017, studies have recorded only 9 sea cucumber species in commercial catches, meaning that populations had significantly reduced due to overfishing. <laughs>